Now, this is exciting. As you all know, the Westminster Dog Show was this week. And, uh, of course, it's a big tradition on our show that our good friend Triumph, the insult comic dog... Yeah. It's a big tradition here. It's a big tradition that he go and file a report for us, all right? Now, this is true. The last two years, Triumph was kicked out, all right? Yeah, and uh, apparently uh, Rod Stewart knows people over there. And... Well, anyway, but this year it was different. This year, due to Triumph's growing fame, he's like number eight on the People magazine list of popular entertainers, uh, Triumph was welcomed to the Westminster Dog Show with open arms as part of the USA Network broadcasting team. He's come a long way and we're excited. Let's take a look. 125th annual Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show brought to you by Pedigree. 2,500 dogs, all champions, 158 breeds. David, you've been a breeder, an owner, a judge, a handler. This Don't is what forget the dogs makes it special. Well, the dogs are certainly the stars, Joe, but the people play yes. a pretty strong supporting role, and they're excited Screw to be here. People. We're all excited to be a part of it, the ultimate event in our sport. Well, there's For a me to poop on! Number 11. Best in show at Crufts last March. Gotta be a crowd favorite. She's a skank. I banged up. Oh, yes. Come on, Joe. You can smell her poon from here. Seriously. Has this been clear? Is this a call on Brian? Because last year they ran these guys out. Okay. I was thrown out of the booth. But it's all right. Because backstage, one can view the seamy underbelly of Westminster. Here, where the dogs congregate and partake unrestricted in the burgeoning sex toy industry. Doggy treats, if you will. This item here is known as Matlux, the number one dog booty. <laughs> booty, that's right. You put it on your fist and then you use it up the booty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Cherry Brook Company has a full assortment of sexual paraphernalia for dogs. No balls, or as we call them, French poodle ticklers. <laughs> Here we have uh, some dildos. Here's another one, very tall and thin. I think this is for greyhounds exclusively. <laughs> Check this one out. Oh my God, Galileo knew how to party. <laughs> Hercules with ribbing for her pleasure. Yes. I don't get this directional thing, but I'm willing to try it. <laughs> I guess this is some crazy threesome thing. <laughs> amazing Giuliani hasn't closed down this place. What's the bitch's name? Tiffany. Okay, and is this her sex toy of preference, the cojones one? Not really. <laughs> oh, man, not really. Come on. Look at that tongue. She could satisfy three beagles at once. <laughs> Seriously. She can get you off and check for ringworm at the same time. What a classy and magnificent animal, yes? Oh, give me a break. She looks like the doggy next door, but she humps like a $10 whore. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Where the hell is it? All right, let's check out the ring section. This is for your uh, putting around your pink thing, of course. Uh, this is about my size, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This one here is for St. Bernard's, I guess. <laughs> and Benji. I hear he's huge. You got a winner here? Of course. He won? All right, let's check out the package. Oh, oh yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> the black ones really are the biggest. I have to return this. It didn't fit around the black dog's nuts. No, that's not how it works. Let me show you some good stuff, okay? You ever see one of these? <laughs> no, I haven't. Yes. You see, it's got nice, easy entry horns in the front and the back. This is what you guys need. All right? I bought it on the internet. All right. I'm here at the stand for the magazine Dog Fancy, the foremost purveyor of gay dog pornography on the planet. So tell me, are you happy that Westminster is now tolerant of gay pornography? 
This is not gay pornography. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, look at this guy. His favorite song is It's Raining Male Dogs. Look at Fabio here. He's had more ding-dongs in him than a hostess factory. <laughs> Look at this. They had to use this thing to put a smile on his face. <laughs> He's queer. This is very exciting. I'm here with superstar Whoopi Goldberg. How are you, Whoopi? And this is exciting. She's here with her friend Bruce Village. All right, what are their names? This is JR and this is Ruger. Yeah. Well, their names to me are the Fugly Twins. <laughs> Look at those mugs. This is why we do it doggy style. Here, guys. <laughs> You're going to need this. Because <laughs> no one else is going to play. Hey, Tal, I got some reading material for you. <laughs> there you go. You can lick yourself to that. <laughs> Here's a real Westminster slut. Look at that nookie, all shaved and ready to go. <laughs> it's all right, bitch. I like trash, oh yeah. Oh yeah, give me a break. She's been back-ended more times than a Ford Pinto. <laughs> Look at oh, yes. oh yes, oh yes, Hey, who's your daddy? Oh, oh. yes. Oh, sorry, wrong side. You're like it, Sorry. 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 All right, very good. I like your technique. Now that's a dog show. For me to poop on! Everybody, uh, right here on NBC. Now, we're going to take a little break. When we come back, Chris Rock is going to be here and here to take us out right now to commercial. Triumph, take it away. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. Eight perky boobies. I knew that she was young, but I figured she was legal from the way she used her tongue. She said I was hung like a Great Dane, and it sounded like an old line. She's smooth as a newborn chihuahua, but she licks ass like she's nine. Underage Bichon. She told me she was one. Underage Bichon. I stooped her, now I'm done. Underage Bichon. I banged her, now I'm screwed. Underage Bichon. Underage Bichon. Took photos of her nude. Underage Bichon. Underage Bichon. My little puppy treat. Underage Bichon. Underage Bichon. She clearly was in heat. Underage Bichon. Underage Bichon. They're taking me away. Under